We're here at the brand new Sandvik Coromant Center for their Aerospace Machining Innovations event. Before we talk about the event though, um, Steve, congratulations on the new center. What, what is it here for? What does it represent? Well, thank you, Rowan. Thank you for the congratulations and welcome to the new Sandvik Centre. Uh, for me, this is uh, the new uh, flagship centre, the only uh, Sandvik Government UK centre that we have in the UK. And predominantly, it's here to help support our, our customers in the best way that we can possibly do in an ever-changing market. So when we look at that changing market, we have to identify the needs of our customers. And that's why the Sandvik Government Centre is here, to support those customers with that ever-changing market. And I guess you support those customers by running events just like this. There's some great customers here today. Um, but what are they demanding of you? And are those demands changing? Demands are changing in, uh, in many, many ways. Uh, when we look at uh, the UK manufacturing uh, market in, in total, we, we, we've all been talking about this triple bottom line, about these, these three Ps, how the, the people, the planet, the profit, how things are changing within those three different areas. And our customers are no different. Our customers see exactly the same happening in the market, and they need our help uh, to bring their costs down and their manufacturing sites to be more uh, competitive within the market that they work in. And what values, um, with regards to those changes, what values does Sandvik have that you're trying to show here the customers are going to take away from this event today? Um, for, for me, the most important values that I'm hoping that the customers take away is that they see Sandvik Coromant not only as a, a tooling supplier within the UK, but also um, a supplier of services and additional support and um, things that can help them with their sustainability issues, such as recycling and um, uh, remanufacturing of, uh, of tools that they currently use, uh, so that they can meet their own internal KPIs as well. And when you say not just a cutting tool supplier, what do you mean? Well, we're not just cutting tool supply, we also have um, digitalized products, we have software as well that we can uh, use in the market so that customers can analyze their machine data so that they can make data-driven decisions about their, their own production and their operations on site. Um, and, we, and we also have um, other areas where we can help them. We can also bring um, customers into our own center here within the UK to help train their own staff as well to help develop their own people, which is something key to the market. So uh, I've personally been working with Sandvik Coromant for 21 years in uh, the previous role to the one that I'm doing now in uh, automotive down in Kent and now with uh, the aerospace industry within Rolls-Royce and ITP. I'm here today to learn about the new technologies and advances that Sandvik Coromant bring to the party. Um, I enjoy working with them for the projects and opportunities they bring and also with the benefit of Sandvik being a global manufacturer we like to take good technologies and replicate them globally because we've worked within North America, Europe and Singapore. It helps EWI as a whole because obviously being a um, manufacturer neutral we like to take the best products from Sandvik Coromant and for us we bring it to our end user so Rolls-Royce ITP and help them bring down the cost of their components and their productivity. I've learned um, the new machining solutions that they bring, the new technologies, the grade, the principles of the parameters they're using and how to reduce cycle time and reduce costs. It's been an eye-opener. Hi, I'm Richard Harvey. I'm a technical program manager for Rolls-Royce and I've been working with Sandvik for well, as long as I can remember. My career has been working with Sandvik because Sandvik's been working with Rolls-Royce for really for as long as most people here uh, I've been involved with making aerospace parts. We have a very good relationship with, uh, with Sandvik. You know, with the people themselves, they, they're, they're passionate about their product and uh, we're passionate about making our products as cost effective and as, uh, you know, as high performing as we can. You know, we're in a very competitive environment and they offer a, a great range of products that we can effectively use to you know, make our products more competitive. It's a good thing for us for, for, for the fact that we actually have a yeah, we can pull on their knowledge to look at each of our applications and help us to drive you know, to a much more effective and a higher quality product at the end of the day. We've been talking to Zala and, and we've obviously had Bellicut here as well. Obviously they're, they, they're, there's partnerships there that we then we can obviously pull on ourselves. You know, we can pull on for a particular application, bring Zola in, bring uh, Sandvik in uh, or bring Bellicut uh, in at the same time. We've been trying to push uh, consumable cost down because it's a big part of our operational cost uh, and 
we need to be able to pull on all the different strings and strategies to be able to bring those costs down. At Zola, we work very closely with our partners and we're really proud that Sandvix is a very long-standing, strong partner. It allows us to offer a full solution to customers uh, so that they're getting the very best out of the cutting tools that Sandvix can provide. Key with Zola, we can ensure that the optimization of those tools is mirrored on the shop floor. Sandvik offer a, a very forward-thinking solution to customers. It's never standing still. So you'll have seen some of the innovations today on uh, sensorized tooling, uh, fir tree cutters, things like that. Kind of mirrors what we're trying to do at Zola, where we're never standing still. We like to be innovators and best in class at what we do. So we find that partnering with Sandvik helps our customers no end. It's very, very specific what we have here today. Looking at the demos and the presentations that we have here, including some of the partners that we've got on site. So looking at different materials that they use in aerospace, whether it be titaniums in canals, HRSAs, or whether it be specific products for specific components, whether it be bliss manufacturing, or whether it be parts or components of a jet engine, for instance.